Hello, welcome to this lesson where we are looking on how to simplify inequalities. The first inequality we have says x plus 2 is less than 7. We want to get the value of x. The first thing that we do is to collect the like terms together. In this question, 2 and 7 are the like terms. They don't have any letter. They are similar. So when you are collecting the like terms, we look at the smaller number. We move it to where the bigger number is. For this case, 2 is the smaller number. It's the one to move to where 7 is. Before you just move it, note the sign of that number. And to note the sign of the number we are to move, we check on the left side of the number. And for our case, 2 is a positive number. Now, when this small number moves to the other number, the sign changes. If it was a plus, the sign changes to minus. So we are going to move 2 to where 7 is. And don't forget, its sign will change to be a minus. So for this, we have x. Remember, 2 has moved. is less than 7. Then we have taken 2 here and it has become negative, so minus 2. Then we get x is less than 7 minus 2 is 5. That's our answer. Let us look at another example. y minus 5 is greater than 10. I think you are able to tell the like terms in this case. And the like terms in this case is 5 and 10. The smaller number is 5. As we move 5, we look at the sign of 5, which is negative. And remember what you have said? When you move the smaller number to the other side, if its sign was negative, it will change to positive. So we shall move negative 5 to this side. And remember it will change to positive so now we have y and remember 5 has gone is greater than the 10 which was there then now minus 5 has become plus 5 then now we get y is greater than 15 that's our answer we are going to try another example We are going to try another example which says 5 plus w is greater than 15. Remember our first step is to move the like terms together. Are you able to tell the like terms? The like terms in this case is 5 and 15. The lesser number is 5. Before we move it, you said you check on the left side of the number, the sign. If it doesn't have a sign, it means it's a positive number. So positive numbers are written with a plus on the left or without a sign. If it doesn't have a sign, it means a positive number. So as we move 5 to where 15 is, it will change to become minus. So on the left side, we are left with W and is greater than, then we have brought 15. We have 15, and then we have brought minus 5. It was a positive, it has changed to minus. So we now have W is greater than 10. That's our answer. Now we try a slight different question, which says 2x plus 3 is less than 13. Are you able to tell the like terms? The like terms in this case is 3 and 13. And as I've told you, we move the lesser number. Don't forget, before we move the number, we check on the left side of the number. And it's a, negative, a positive number. So it's going to change to become a minus as we move it. 
So on this side, we are left with 2x. Remember, 3 has gone. is less than 13 minus 3. It was a positive, just changed to negative. So now we have 2x is less than 13 minus 3, which is 10. Now in this step, since we want the value of x, and what we have is 2x, which means 2 times x, we are going to divide both sides by this value that is 2. So we divide by 2 there, and we also divide by 2 on the other side. The reason why we are doing this is for this 2 to cancel with that 2, so that we are left with the value of x. And remember, we are also dividing by 2 here. By 2, 1, by 2, 5. So we get x is less than 5. Now we try another one which says 4 plus 5t is greater than 39. And we have another one saying 40 is less than 9z minus 5. So starting in the one on the left, we have 4 plus 5t is greater than 39. Are you able to identify the like terms in this question? The like terms are the ones without letters. For example, 4 and 39. And as we have said, the lesser number is the one that moves to where the bigger number is. So we move 4 to where that 9 is. Again, remember before you move the number, check on the left side to get the sign of that number. If it doesn't have a sign, it means a positive number. So for our case 4, it's a positive number. So we move it to where that 9 is. And it becomes minus 4. So on this side, we are left with 5t is greater than that 9, which was there. And we have brought minus 4. And we have 5t is greater than 39 minus 4, we know is 35. Remember what we did in the other question, to get the value of t now, we divide by 5 on both cases, on the left and on the right. So we divide by 5, and we divide by 5. That's how 5 cancels with 5, and you're left with the value of t, which is greater than, then you divide by 5 here, divide by 5 to get 7. t is greater than 7. Forty is less than nine z minus five. Which are the like terms in this question? We look at the numbers that do not have letters. One of them is forty, the other one is negative five. The lesser number of the two is negative five. So negative five is to move where forty is. Remember what we said, before you move the number, check on the left side of the number. So negative 5, it's a, it's a minus number, it's a negative number. So as it moves to where 40 is, it's going to change and become a positive number. So on this side, on the left side, we have 40 and we have brought plus 5. Remember it was minus and it has changed to positive or plus 5 is less than 9z. Put together 40 and 5 because they are like terms. You get 45 is less than 9z. Now, to get the value of z, we have to divide by this 9 on both cases. So we divide by 9, divide by 9. By 9, 1, by 9, 1, we get z there. Then 9 divided by 45, which is 5. So we get 5 is 
less than z. After we get this answer which says 5 is less than z, we can interchange to start with the value of z. Take care when you're doing that. This means that when you say 5 is less than z, we mean z, the possible values of z is a number which is greater than 5. Since 5 is less than z, so z can be a number like 6 from 6, 7, 8, and so on. It's a number which is greater than 5. So if we the change and start with z, we shall now say z is greater than 5. I repeat again, it was saying we, have, we got 5 is less than z, meaning z is a value which is greater than 5, since 5 is less than that z. So z can be represented by a number like 6 or 7 or any number that is greater than 5. So when you interchange to start with z, of course this sign will change and the sign will change to become z is greater than 5. Now let us try now inequality that has fractions. For example, we have 2 over 9 or 2 9 m plus 8 is less than 10. We also try 15 plus, sorry, 15. Let's also do 15 is greater than 5 plus half W. In the first one here, 2 ninth M plus 8 is less than 10. Are you able to identify the like terms? Remember the like terms are the ones without the letters. And this is 8 and 10. And we have, as we have said in the other questions, move the lesser number to where the bigger number is. So for this case, we move 8 to where 10 is. Again, remember to check on the left side of the number we are moving. It's a positive number. So as it moves to the other side, it changes to be a minus. So on this side, we are left with 2 ninth m is less than 10 and now we are subtracting 8 which are brought from this side the other side so we have 2 9 m is less than 10 minus 8 which is 2 so 2 9 2 over 9 m is less than 2 now to get the value of m we need to multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction because when you multiply a number by its reciprocal, you get 1. So we shall get the reciprocal of 2 over 9, which is 9 over 2. Remember what you do on the left must also be done on the right. So we also multiply by the same reciprocal. Then that 2 cancels with 2, 9 cancels with 9. And here we are left with the value of m. And m then these two cancels with these two here and we are left with 1 times 9 so m is less than 9 that is the value of m let us look at another example of inequality which has a fraction it says 15 is greater than 5 plus half w are you able to identify the like terms? Remember the like terms are the numbers without letters. For this case, it's 15 and 5. 
15 is on the left side of the inequality while 5 is on the right side. Again, remember we said we move the lesser number to where the bigger number is. So for this case, we are moving 5 to where 15 is. And to do this, we move 5 to where 15 is. And before we move it, we said you also check the sign on the left side of the number we are moving. If it doesn't have a sign, it means it's a positive number. And if it is positive, when you move it to the other side of the inequality, it becomes negative. So on the left side, we have 15 and we have brought minus 5. Then on the other side of the inequality now, on this side, we are left with half W is greater than half W. 15 minus 5, we know it's 10, is greater than half W. Remember to get the value of W, we said you multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction. So you multiply by 2 over 1. And what we do on the left, on the right side, we should also do on the left. So we also multiply by 2 over 1. Starting on the left side, 2 times 10 over 1 is 20. Then it's greater than, we have half W times 2 over 1. These two cancels with that 2. So here we are left with 1w which is the same as just w we get 20 is greater than w so once we get 20 is greater than w we can write this answer starting with w whereby we know w is a number less than 20 because 20 is greater than that value w so when we start with w the sign will change to less than 20. The reason why we have changed the sign is because we got an answer saying 20 is greater than W. And now we have interchanged W to come on the left side, which is a number less than 20. So we say W is less than 20. Both answers are correct. 20 is greater than W or W is less than 20. Having shown you these questions, I want you now to try the following questions. Do them and then you can give a comment in the video description. And the first question I'll give you says 40 is less than 9z minus 5. Another question I'll give you says a quarter t minus 17 is less than Eight. That question says two P minus is less than five plus seventeen. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like comment, subscribe, and share to as many people as possible.